is the fifth most visited country in the world with over 47.7 million tourists each year. Some interesting facts about Italy that most people do not know is that the official name is not Italy. It is the Italian Republic. It also has the most volcanoes in Europe and is the home of the Parmesan cheese. Italy being one of the top tourist attractions in the world, you, you need to have an idea of the history about it when you go there. And also some of the top places to visit and also some helpful hints to the average tourist. Italy has such a broad history and so many details in it, I'm just going to give you a quick timeline. In 753 BC is when the Roman Empire was founded and was the beginning of the Roman Kingdom. In 509 BC, the monarchy was overthrown and Rome became a republic with Julius Caesar as its dictator. In 1200 AD, Rome, Florence, and Venice flourished with the Renaissance. And then in 1861, Italy became, unified, became a unified nation under King Victor Emmanuel II. In 1915, Italy entered World War I on the side of the Allies, which won the war. Not even a decade later, actually a couple decades later, in 1940, Italy sided with Germany in World War II under the leadership of Mussolini, who, who lost the war. In 1943, Mussolini was forced to resign from leadership. Only three short years later, the voters of Italy ended the monarchy and had the nation become a de democratic republic. In 1984, Catholicism was no longer the formal state religion of Italy. Now that we have talked about the history of Italy, it is time to talk about some of the most visited places in Italy. Rome, for example, being one of the top tourist attractions in Italy, has the Colosseum, Point Sisto Stroll, and also the Trevi Fountain, which is known for having people turn around and throw coins over their shoulder to make the wish of their dreams. Also, another top attraction is Pisa, which is known for having the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa got its name from its location, Pisa, and because the tower actually leans. The reason why the tower leans is because of the foundation whenever it was built and hasn't stopped leaning since. Capri, which is known for its beautiful waters, is just outside of Italy, being a little island. And also Florence. Florence is known for the famous Statue of David and also the Piazza del Duno, which has the square, which is the most popular place in Florence besides David. Some of the most popular tips for traveling in Italy is always bring your student ID. Most people ask, why should we bring our student ID with us? It could get stolen, but the thing is, some places you will, you will get a discount for the attractions because you are a student and in college. And also, when planning your trip, plan a time that isn't ideal, because then there won't be as many people crowding the Colosseum, which is normally always packed, and take tons of pictures so you'll be able to remember the experience for forever. Another thing that a lot of people regret is that they don't eat at enough authentic food places that are off the map and not very famous. Most of the time when people say that their Italian food is authentic, it's normally not. It's just fake Italian food and it is not the actual Italian style that most Italians are accustomed to. One of the biggest mistakes while taking a tour in Italy is not having a tour guide. You always need to have a tour guide so that you will know where to go. If you have a tour guide, he'll show you the best routes to take, he'll get you quicker lines, he'll get you tickets so you don't have to wait in the long lines, and he'll just do so many more beneficial things for you. Having a tour guide will just make your trip 100% better because he'll know Italy better than you will, being a tourist from the United States. Thank you.